Hi all! So today I want to talk about uh, managing your WordPress plugin with Trello. So Trello is, uh, as you can see, a board where you can have various par various boards and whatever. It's essentially it's a to-do list application, right? So how do you manage that? Let me show you a simple view of this board. So first, here is a to do, something like a backlog, some featured requests that I have recorded, and then you can see my versions, cards, and whatever. Okay, so let's start. First, we need to create a board, right? So when you create a board, you just go here, create a board. You can actually have a team also, maybe you you're not the only one working with the plugin so create a team add those members to the team but of course you don't have even have to have a team here you can actually just uh, add uh, add members to the board but with the team it's more organized and you can have it public or private so public uh, is pretty cool because you can actually show the roadmap of your plugin uh, publicly so everyone using your plugin can actually see what you're working on and how is it going but i'll just keep it not private and let's create my pick a color if you want or whatever you can pick something and create a board great so this is now my plugin board and what I like to do here is first to create general information. And this is more of a thing if you're working or just in for to keep it shorter. Working, um, let's say, for a client or something like that, and you want to have general information here. And when working with plugin, I like to call it have a card idea and just idea of plugin just so you can know what what things you can hear uh, what's your general idea of your plugin and how to start then what else you can say alternatives or existing uh, plugins and then you can list them one by one Let's say you're building a SEO plugin or e-commerce. So you can just go and say e-commerce plugin here. And let's type it WooCommerce, so the link, PDD, and whatever. Download alternatives like that, and etc. etc. Right? And you can have them all, so you can actually see a list of all of the available plugins that are doing the same thing or a similar thing you're doing. Okay, so then, I don't know, info colors, logo, and icons, and you can place them all, you can actually even attach them, so you can, you can, you have them always available. Okay, so here, this is it. Then let's say a backlog, okay, or to do as I have shown you. And each card in the backlog is a feature. So let's say feature one, it's, it's uh, yeah, feature one. And as we are talking about, let's say, uh, e commerce. Uh, since we have already shown WooCommerce and we do some download links, let's say products, okay, and then feature two variations. Um, of course, I'm just typing feature three, feature two. You, you don't have to do that, you just do it on your own how you like it. Let's say user page, okay. Then this is the backlog, and this is your own. These are your own, uh, let's say, 
ideas and features you have been. Then I like to have the requests, which is not actually backlog. You can put it at here, let's say. Oh, we're doing here. So this is something that others have requested of you for the plugin. So you can have, let's say, uh, picture. Okay, so this is something you don't uh, see it as needed, but I usually want using picture in the profile area. And then you can also link it to request link. Okay, so you know where maybe he didn't link it, maybe it's not available publicly, but you know you can copy everything the user wanted. Okay, so that's here. Uh, and you can also move them to backlog when you actually want them. And now, what's the fun part here is how do you do it? Okay, how do you then keep track of, of your roadmap so uh since trello is going at least for probably most of the world from left to right i don't think uh, i'm not sure if they have the reverse option but as i'm using it it's from left to right and the left part is always staying fixed so we are moving as we build the cards the lists to the right so my idea when working on it is to create a version. Let's say this is my first version, okay? And then add, you can move the backlog or add a new one. Let's say these two are for version one. And when I'm done with the version one and move to the next one, I just double click in between, or you can add another list and move it here, and say, let's say, like that. So I'm done with one. I don't actually need the uh, the first version or the latest version. Here, I want the newest one, okay? Because I don't want to scroll and scroll and scroll to get to the latest. The latest should be here. And I like to see it as a scroll. I see the history of how the features were developed. So here I can say feature 23 and stuff like that. So that's how you can actually work it out. Another good info part I just remembered if you are on WordPress, SVN, get links, and uh, maybe. Maybe something else. Of course, if you are publicly, if you make it publicly uh, available, don't put the passwords and stuff like that here because that's not a good idea, right? Okay, and the last thing, well, sorry about that. And the last thing I want to show you, I think it is the last one. Of course, Tre Trello has a lot of power ups where you can say, you can view date stuff that members for if you're working more than one let's say you know know that I know that I'm working on it but of course but if someone someone else is doing you can assign them another task you can create checklists like that so uh, repeatable field for variations uh, database uh, factor sure and stuff like that then you can set the due date of course uh, and it's easy to move checklists and stuff like that okay so what I li like to have is labels okay and here are the labels I like to actually name them also so let's say the green one is finish the yellow one needs testing, let's say. The red one is bug. It can be bug, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I like to have this as an idea. Something to think of. It's, let's say, it's maybe in the backlog. 
but it's actually media. Then let's say the blue blue one is premium, so you I know that I, when I see a, a blue label, that's the feature for the premium version of my plugin. That and the orange can be high priority, and then you can also have other stuff like I don't know, this blue is low priority and stuff like that. So yeah, I've added low priority, but it's also finished, and now I know it's finished and and I can move on other parts, right? So if I've moved this here, then uh, let's say that this was a high priority thing to do, and this was also finished, and like that, okay? So pretty easy to move into my so let's say I'm finished with this, so I create a or I'm creating a like, the first version, the 1.0 version, and I'm adding other stuff here. Uh, that's that's about it. So this is a free free trial board. You can use it as you like it, right? You can create your own, and I'll actually make this simple uh, simple board, maybe even a bit more customized. For own needs uh, to uh, to my members members of my site. If you are one, you will get a link in my blog post. And if you don't like videos, you like more of more of a written description. I plan to write this uh, article about this in a day or two. So see you then.